Uh, from that, uh, from that point, kita start untuk you know, uh, buat promosi, show the visual, cari pon, uh, cari apa, uh, panda, apa semua. Uh, sebenarnya, abang akan tukar dia. <laughs> Kalau kita ikut sesuatu lalu tadi macam kita start baca buku dari page sepuluh. Okay. <laughs> Tapi buku page, page dari satu ke sembilan ni apa yang berlaku adalah uh, back in 2014, abang was supposed to shoot you know, with another friend of ours being a producer. It didn't happen in last minute. So on one of these rainy night, you know, she came over to my house. Uh, back then I was still living in the house. Uh, so he came, really sad face. It's like, you know, it's very hard to be able to make it in this country. <laughs> so I said, yeah, I do agree. I should do something. Yeah, we should do something. What do you want to do? It's still a movie. What? Again? <laughs> uh, so I said, yeah. And at that time, otherwise it would be like going into the like this. No? So I said, oh, I have this, this story about my maid, you know, I, I heard from my maid, da da da, and I said, wow, this is, this is serious stuff. <laughs> okay, somebody else's maid that, that... Uh, you see? That's, so that was the first reaction. Yeah, you see, page 8. Eh? Page 8. <laughs> So, <laughs> so, so eventually we, we kind of like, all right, if we, uh, if we were going to do a, a movie, it, it better be something that not only entertains people, but also can say something about our country. That, that was the starting point that we went and, and off we went and shot a couple of, uh, with a couple of friends, good friends, and did some videos to test it out, his ideas. After that, people said, hey, that looks amazing, that looks nice, uh, when are you guys going to shoot? Uh, we don't know, we don't have, we don't have money. <laughs> so, so we sent it out to staff, I think Southeast Asian Film Financing Forum. Uh, I'm sorry, I have to say, uh, do it in English because we got two foreign actors, just in case there is a Kuchiati couple. Uh, <laughs> we get Indonesian and uh, Filipino friends, and so it has to be in English. Uh, so, oh, we went and, and we won the grand prize there, so we got camera for 20 days uh, and the rest helped my peanuts and we were lucky later on uh, Joanne came in and everyone came in so yeah we yeah I want to get to the part where Miss Joanne comes in is that alright yeah so what was your first reaction when you were presented with that script like with the opportunity to produce one to check out it wasn't a rainy night right <laughs> Uh, first of all, thank you, Bronze and uh, Director Namron and Kim Sinesh for uh, you know giving me a chance. So we're looking forward on to Jaga too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you. Now I'd like to uh, move to uh, Ali Yusuf for a bit. All right. So in terms of cinematography, I want to talk a little bit about the decision behind making this movie look as dark and as bleak as, as it is. So what was the thought process behind? That decision. Uh, pada awal proses dia uh, discussion saya dengan director for sure dengan the producer so, uh, satu soalan saya tanya orang dia cakap orang berani tak kalau kita pergi loop yang begini so uh, saya boleh katakan di Malaysia belum lagi belum lagi ada yang loop begini so cakap I go with this Kita perlu apa high contrast and then we go slightly in English. Uh, follow the concept of the story. So hopefully uh, and then uh, I bagi how the look and great at orang first look. So don't agree. So during the shoot also we we uh, I remain the whole concept of the movie, camera work, lighting and everything yang macam ni. So uh, alhamdulillah director happy, <laughs> apa producer happy. And kita orang pun ada travel di beberapa beberapa uh, festival uh, feedbacknya uh, baik dan diterima. So rasanya harap harap di Malaysia pun begini uh, punya camera work, the stroke and the film uh, boleh. And then I like the uh, one juga ke pasal dia punya story and then like, so kalau as a cinematographer you boleh explore. Alright, thank you, Mr. Alright, yeah. Right now, let's move on to the actors. Um, 
because this movie is very dark and gritty. Um, this is a question for all of you in general, but I want you to ask, answer this one by one. What were some of the more challenging scenes in terms of the emotion required, or maybe in terms of like the amount of time you have to do a take? Can um, Ms. Asmara, Asmara share that first? Yes. Um, I think the most challenging scene for me is the intimate conversation with my brother because uh, it's a, I don't want to be egoistic for my own uh, feelings. But uh, I also cannot think about, about his life and his kid in Malaysia. But I still want to go back home to Indonesia. So it's a, a tricky and difficult situation. But in the end, I still do what I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> right, but that was a complicated character to balance, yes, yes. Uh, Mr. Chu King Wow, share your experiences with the shooting. Uh, there's, uh, for me, there was no uh, uh, typical scenes or whatever because I I was actually playing someone that I and I and everyone else in Malaysia knows of or heard of before. <laughs> the longest time, but it's nobody there to say anything. Because, yeah, so what is So it was, it was very, very easy for me because I worked with Namron before on, in, on stage and I know how he forgets lines and so I can do one of the lines. <laughs> and when, you know, when Namron sees Uwe walking around, everything will stop. And we will stop for a day because he will talk to me away. And I know working with Braun also is very easy because he's an actor. He's an actor, so he's an actor's producer. So he he actually gives us a lot of leeway, like, you know, you can do whatever you want, you know, relax, no problem, come late. <laughs> so it's, it's very easy for me, and I'm sure Tim P also would say so because the scene where he was in the truck of the car, he would. He, he was having an affair with Idil. <laughs> yeah. Because we hit a mic inside the truck. Uh, and then we <laughs> heard like everything. The most hardest. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that a deleted scene? <laughs> okay, Zyra, yes. What, share your experience. Oh, okay. Okay, that's... Alright, um... My mind can play a good call. The first thing yang datang ke main saya bila di offer watak polis ni uh, saya fikir adakah saya perlu bercakap jangan juga <laughs> saya dari balai saya kena cakap macam tu because I my experience uh, tak pernah pun ada polis cakap macam tu kat saya even my uncle yang polis pun he don't talk like that dia tak cakap macam tu so boleh tak saya jadikan uh, karakter ni, karakter biasa dan Namron cakap, yes, memang kita nak buat dia macam ni kita nak uh, real, kita nak polis yang real so macam, ok uh, yang yang isu yang pertama yang main pada saya ialah uh, saya sendiri dah terkena dengan stigma yang boleh ke Malaysia can Malaysia do a story about corruption in uh, PRM that's the first thing that yang datang macam dan mereka kata, boleh, kita boleh buat dan uh, kita buat and then um, saya rasa macam saya tak nak jadi polis baik saya saya polis yang muda yang ada anger yang rasa macam uh, aku tak nak jadi polis yang baik tapi yang uh, yang baik yang terlalu skema aku pun ada anger aku pun nak nak tunjukkan ini negara aku aku pun nak ada kebencian aku pun nak mencarut aku pun nak maki sial kan because aku pun manusia cuma nak jalankan tugas dengan baik dan dan dibenarkan semua tu jadi saya cakap okay, saya uh, look forward to buat cerita ni dan antara cabaran dia yang um, yang uh, berat juga dekat set ialah kena fight dalam hujan uh, itu yang, yang paling saya rasa berat untuk semua orang tu masa tu <laughs> kita, saya, uh, kita pergi di training, fighting uh, untuk 2 minggu uh, fighting saya ada 4 petak tapi disebabkan masa tak cukup dan 4 uh, petak punya fighting tu kena dikerankan jadi satu petak uh, dan Bila kita training dalam uh, keadaan bahasa uh, kering macam ni Kita punya pergerakan jadi uh, senang Tapi bila masuk dalam hujan Kita tak pernah training dalam hujan Tak ada pun uh, Apa Okay, jom kita pergi masuk hujan training tak Kita training semua kering Tapi bila shoot masuk hujan 
segala movement akan jadi limited so uh, kadang-kadang tercampak barang pistol tercampak jauh uh, apa scoop tu ter, terkena air lebih uh, and then perumbuk kita terlajak terkena masa biasa tendangnya tak sampai bila action pun ah oh, ok ni kena je kan ok oh hujan hujan salah hujan bukan salah dia ok Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want to refer back to Timothy uh, because you're known for acting in movies that already pretty and quite well, emotional, like in Neo Manila, in Mondo Manila. So, what was the extra added experience in acting in Jaga Crossroads? What was your challenge? Maybe a cultural barrier? Maybe? Uh, your chemistry with Idil Putra? You can talk about that. <laughs> So, uh, I, I don't know, I, I just feel overwhelmed and, and happy just to be a part of this film. That's all. Was there a challenging scene you want to talk about? Is <laughs> 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 that a secret not meant to be shared? He mentioned it earlier. <laughs> okay, alright. Thank you for uh, the cast and crew. Now I'd like to open the floor to questions from our uh, BFM. I think it's not a lot of things like this. It's just an exciting subject matter that we think maybe it's, it's about time that we should share this kind of uh, story to our society. But uh, at the back of our mind, we know we are not making a judgmental, judging, uh, finger pointing type of film. Uh, so that's from the get go, we agree this is not finger pointing movie. We're not going to blame anyone for anything that, that's going on in this country. Um, so highly likely we go deconstructing the problem of, of the, the subject matter. But at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's about balancing the act of telling a delicate story, finding the right balance in terms of telling about the subject matter and finding the entertainment values to entertain the audience. So we were more focused on that in that regard rather than whether you know we, we are so great for what. Uh, because making a film is hard enough, so we were more focusing on, on, on that process. Ada dapat apa pun nasihat atau mungkin perbincangan dengan Bukit Aman? Uh, kita memang kerap kebijakan, lebih uh, kerap daripada sepatutnya mungkin. Ini uh, four, five trips. Uh, so ada first kita hantar, uh, outright reject, uh, and then kita minta bertemu dengan dengan pemohon untuk bertemu di dengan pesai pegawai sana. Alhamdulillah, dia orang pun buka ruang tu. Okay, nak jumpa, boleh jumpa. Uh, but we're not gonna allow you to do it. And uh, lepas tu, dia jadi, Alah, it's okay lah, jom lah kita find middle ground. And after a while, we've we, we really found our middle ground yang dia orang, I think the perception kot, the perception that people say, ah, story about police, or uh, corruption in the police force, or foreign labor. No. But after they fully understand what we were trying to do, then they were like, Okay, it's not that bad. Okay, maybe we don't understand or we didn't understand your vision uh, when we first read your idea. So after that, it's just about fine-tuning lah benda yang terkadang SOP, ada benda yang language, things like that. But it was, it was much easier than what we anticipated when we when we about to venture into this, this project. Ada banyak bapak tadi yang foto. Moments yes, moments yes. Uh, Bapa no. Uh, dalam scripting, dalam scripting proses ada view, but once we are okay with our script, then dah tak banyak. In terms of number, uh, saya uh, Ya, saya tak tahu. 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 T
Saya lebih belajar macam uh, lepas kepada Brown untuk settle isu dengan Pedro Aero Saya tak nak ambil tahu pun, saya dia nak buat cerita dia so, macam, so, hantar Brown untuk untuk uh, settle dan Brown pun tak bagi saya pergi jumpa polis Dia takut dia saya pergi, saya apa-apa uh, kerja kan So, Dah dah. Dah dah. So, apa komen dia? Dia ada noise dia orang tapi saya pun tak ada lah bagi macam apa komen dia orang. Dia daripada dia orang bagi mungkin dia orang tak bagi pula. So, saya pun macam okey okey terima kasih. Okey alright. Jom 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 jom. Uh, kita tak ada lah mengadu-ngadu. Kan masalah ada masa macam kita kita cuba ada macam duta dalam negara yang berkrisis Tempat uh, apa kita okey je, jom cepat cepat So, itu aja lah polis Ya, yeah, but I think we should be Terima kasih kepada PDRM kerana berkongsi oh, really? yeah. They are so generous to allow this Because I think Please remember this was done before uh, the new government yeah. So it's not like we shot this yesterday. So thanks to Najib lah. I don't comment on that. <laughs> Nothing to do with him. There's everything to do with the generosity of Police di Raja Malaysia yeah. who yeah. uh, script ini di di approve. So I I wish you you, all, you guys should thank them a lot. Kita nak luluskan video, tolong bapa. Kita nak luluskan untuk tayangan. Kita luluskan untuk tayangan tahun ni. Adakah anda yakin? Kerana telah bertukar kerjaan, boleh dapat ditayangkan okay. Tak juga, uh, sebelum kita dapat Kita uh, proses apa semua ni Is actually before before uh, change of new government Involve the, in fact the political punya landscape Punya changes didn't didn't affect our movie in, in any ways uh, Macam Cukup Tengah cakap tadi uh, We should thank the police, the LPF, in fact Finas for having the, the the spirit of of brave enough brave enough brave enough uh, brave enough uh, to to help us and support movies like this to be to be told to Malaysian audience and uh, also you know our our regional friends so yeah the movie is the puzzle because it's a kind of like a puzzle kind of thing you know so do you think Malaysian majority Malaysian audience will come and watch this movie because the kind of Malaysian audience would love to watch is Antuk Alima and this kind of movie. Guys, this movie is very pretty. You need to sit down, be patient. And Why do you block? All right. Uh, anyone will watch this in, 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 in their own free time? Anyone in this hall right now? So I, I think it's not it's not about about you know light uh, sour sweet you know different senses. Uh, good for you is not too good as well. You know it's it's that it, that, um, we're looking at it as we're we're making we're telling an, an entertaining story which we believe uh, a lot of us got entertained after coming out from cinema. But in terms of bringing the audience to 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 allow themselves to watch the movie in the first place, I think we will need the support from you guys yeah. to help us to to, to to help us rally it from them that we should we should give this movie a chance because without without watching it, you won't be able to tell whether it's, it's, it's too dark or it's too deep or it's too what. But without having the chance of going in, you can say anything, you can say this. It looks like a very heavy movie, bro. I don't think I can watch it. So we will need your support here to, to help us bring the audience to the cinema and hopefully inshallah they will enjoy watching it. Right, thank you for the last question, yes. The one that you drank last night, what number? Plug one. Hard to tell actually. Yeah. As much as possible, yeah. There's a reward for everyone here actually. Yeah. Uh, okay, kalau nak tambah lah, saya as a AP juga. For sure kalau you make movie, you nak ni kan. Ini movie ni dia bukan sekadar untuk the ticket collection. We doing this dengan kita orang punya passion. 
So background background kami pun nampak pada pada daripada SK kita pada film school. So kita di semua pelakon pelakon lama. So kita orang dalam movie making ni orang cakap dalam darah lah. So kalau nak cakap pasal collection tu kita orang ni <coughs> dia kan iyalah you buat benda you mesti nak ada collection to continue to new buat remake kerja-kerja art eh. So kita orang punya harapan tinggi juga walaupun naskah kami sekecil ini harapan kami tinggi. Se macam kali mah pun dia cakap eh dia boleh cakap okey alright ah macam tu lagi kurang. Can we know how much is the cost for the movie? Total best for As of now and still running, I think it's almost two. The cost? Yeah. It's about two million. Almost two, yeah. yeah. Almost two. Okay, yeah, all right. Do I go to Indonesia? Yeah, it's mahal. Excuse me, we got Filipino. Oh, we got the English. We got the, the biggest gangster underground. I don't want to care right now. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 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 Thank para team tukang membuat in the in the journey banyak tempe ah <laughs> uh, we i'm a firm believer that that i only and this is my school of thought all this while i only want to work with the people that i have great respect for um in their own craft in the way they work that's why we're here it's not because of the rate or anything that not love <laughs> but Uh, it has been like that with, with anyone, directors, writers, actors. Uh, so after working with them, uh, when when I went to Philippines and also Indonesia, uh, but Asmara, I get to know Asmara through another friend. Uh, we only worked together after we shot it, but we we met and and we were discussing on this side that oh man, I hear it whenever we have Malaysian uh, planes, you know, like. Uh, people playing fake Filipinos or people playing fake uh, Indonesian and try. What about fake Chinese? I I didn't walk as well. Tachi. So I was like, so uh, but we do understand sometimes people are logistical issues, things like that. But I I did hard less and a bit fortunate that we have worked together. Thank you. 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 Thank